Hi, this is Robert Greer. This is CSC 588 Sprint 5. I'll start by showing my diagram for the new systems. So the user interacts with the Game Sound Manager. They can load new wave assets, which will create a load command. The load command has a load type for async or blocking. It gets sent over to the audio thread, and it checks if it's async or blocking. Either way, it creates a fulfillment command, which is going to fulfill the load re request. Um, if it's async, that gets sent over to the file thread. If it's blocking, it executes right here. What that command does is it sets the table to be pending. Then it does the file slow loading to simulate the slow load. Then it will set the table to be ready and create a response that gets sent all the way back to the game. The same thing happens in blocking, um, except it's right here in the audio thread and blocks execution. Once this uh, response gets sent back, it tells the manager that it, it's finished. The manager will loop over a set of observers and notify each of them. That way the user can insert behavior when that happens. Lastly, the user can unload assets with the unload command, get sent over to the audio thread. It just sets the table to entry and then deletes the audio asset. So here in the code is uh, my demo. The demo starts by loading the assets as normal, except now I have a load type for blocking or async and Beethoven is async. I'm immediately able to play the first two because they were blocking loads. And then um, every five seconds, I'm going to play the alert again and print out the table. And I add an observer for Beethoven once it's loaded, and the Beethoven observer will just start Beethoven. And then at 60 seconds, I'm going to stop Beethoven, and then I'm going to unload all of the assets. So the way this works is I have the uh, load asset command, which just checks if it's blocking or async, and then either executes or submits to the file thread. The file thread is just a new thread that spins on commands. The thread that the command that gets submitted there is the fulfillment command that sets to pending, does the slow loading, then sets to ready, and then responds with the response back to the game. The game will re read that response, which will then call notify that it was loaded. And this will loop over the observers and say notify that it was loaded, causing that Beethoven command to execute. Um, lastly, you have the unload command, which will just unload the asset, and um, that will set it to be empty in the wavetable. So let me run the demo. You press space to run it. So electro and alert start playing. And you can see the wavetable is ready for the first two and then pending for Beethoven because it's still loading in the background. And somewhere up here, we did the async request for Beethoven. So now Beethoven was ready and it finished loading Beethoven, so it immediately called back to the main thread and started Beethoven. So we hit 60 seconds and it starts unloading the waves. So one by one, the wave table becomes empty for each of the waves that I loaded. I can then quit with Q and escape. And that's the end of the demo. Thank you.